Hey everyone, have you ever tried to learn how to code but got stuck? In my new Private Fan programming class, we're going to break that loop. This course is primarily focused on people who are complete beginners, so don't worry if you don't have any background. This course is different than other courses because we're going to teach you to think like a programmer and solve problems like a robot. So let's get started. Hi everyone. Welcome to the very first lesson of the very first video of this course. This course is Think Like a Robot, as you can see on the screen. In this and the next video, I'm going to go through some high-level concepts of what this course is all about and how you can use it and why you should even take this course to begin with. But if you'd like to jump right into coding, you don't have to watch these videos. I strongly recommend them because they can give you some more context on what you can use programming for and what the purpose of this course is. But you can always jump ahead if you'd like. This is really just for your benefit. Okay, starting off, this is Think Like a Robot. Learn programming to improve your life, accelerate your career, and do cool stuff. That is what this course is about. Welcome to the course. I'm glad to have you here. Who am I? So I'm Sean. I'm Sean Amirati. Uh, I am a software engineer at Google. Uh, I have some other videos on my page about who I am and how I started out, uh, if you're interested. I'm a software engineer at Google, but before Google, I was a data scientist, and I learned how to program all by myself. Uh, so when I was doing statistics, I had to learn how to code or through work, but I never took computer science courses in college, and I never took an explicit learn how to program course. It was more just learning by doing. So that's why I created this course. I think my journey is somewhat unconventional, and I want to help others to get interested in programming using some of the same tactics that I use or, or thinking the same way that I had. Why should you learn programming? So the first thing is computers are everywhere and we use them every day. So we should learn how they work. Computers are in your pockets, in your phone. They are in the ATM you use to get money from the bank. They're used internally by your school or workplace to organize files, to share files between individuals. And they're used in practically every aspect of our life, from finance to education to entertainment. Computers are everywhere. Learning how they actually work beyond just the surface level will help us to up-level ourselves and, and to understand more about the world that we live in. Speaking of up-leveling, leveling up in your career or learning a new and useful hobby is another good reason to learn programming. It doesn't have to be programming as a programmer or as a software engineer. I actually think that most fields can benefit from learning some programming and you can use that to leverage in your career to get promotions or to have more scope or to work on more interesting projects. By learning programming, you can now unlock a whole other level of potential opportunities that weren't available to you before, even if you aren't trying to be a programmer or a software engineer. That's what I want to emphasize. And even if you don't want to use it for work or you have no desire to code for work, it's pretty fun to learn uh, certain areas of programming and it's useful. So not many hobbies out there that are both useful and fun, but programming, in my opinion, is one of them. So it's a great thing to learn on your spare time if you want to just learn something fun because you might actually use it down the line. One of the greatest benefits of learning programming is that you can automate boring and repetitive tasks of work and everyday life. You might find yourself doing the same thing every month at work. For example, organizing a bunch of spreadsheets or organizing word files or calculating some particular number based on a bunch of different Excel sheets, something like that. Programming can allow you to automate those tasks in a very tailored way to you. So you might think, oh, there's some other program out there that can do that, maybe, but probably not to the degree of specificity that you would like. Once you know programming, you have a new toolkit that you can use to solve all types of problems and to automate problems so you don't have to do these tedious tasks and you can focus on more interesting things. Same thing about everyday life. So even if it's not about work, um, you might want to turn on the lights when you get home. You might want to uh, set a thermometer to read the, th the temperature and do something based on it. Of course, you can do these with out-of-the-box solutions, but if you want really finely grained control, programming can automate away some of the things that you're doing that can be done by a computer. Build a website to promote yourself, a business, or a product. So web development is a huge field in programming if you learn how to program. This course is not about learning web development, and there are other many other great courses on learning web development. But if you do learn how to create a website, you can promote yourself, your business, and product and again, you'll have much more control over how things actually appear and you'll understand how it actually works at a, a fundamental level so that you can customize it in the way that you would like. And solving complicated optimization problems. If you want to allocate your personal finances or find the most common words in a text, without programming, these are pretty hard things to do. One, there's not that many 
ready-made apps that can do exactly what you want to do. Maybe finding the most common words in a text, but allocating your personal finances, yeah, you can find a calculator online, but to get it really specific to you and to, to be able to adjust all the fields, you'd pretty much have to build something yourself. So whenever you find anything that it's a complicated optimization problem that's specific to your job or to your life, programming is the way to go. And if you learn how to program, you can learn how to do this in a relatively small amount of code. Within an hour, you can write up pretty complicated optimization problems and find a maximum. We're gonna talk a lot, a lot about those in this course, but just wanted to give you an idea that optimization problems are not just something you learned in math class, but they're actually real problems that you find in the world. If you wanna maximize or minimize something, those are real problems and programming can allow you and unlock the potential for you to actually do that. And the freedom to solve problems yourself. So I've been saying this in almost every bullet point, but when you speak the language of, of computers, you no longer rely on third-party software for simple tasks. Of course, there are already things out there that can do many of the things you want to do, especially nowadays, right? ChatGPT and many other AI tools exist on the internet that can pretty much solve many problems that were once unsolvable just using text. But ultimately, if you want to dive deeper and you want to solve more complex problems, you still need to understand how to program, right? You don't rely on these third-party software to do everything for you. You can actually now do things yourself and tailor it specifically for your needs. And it's fun. That's my last bullet point, but it really is probably one of the first bullet points for me. Learning how to program is fun. It's interesting to understand how computers work. And once you understand it, everything seems to make a lot more sense about the world that we live in and how we can interact with it and how we interact with computers. You start to understand, oh, okay, I get why this problem is happening. Whereas before it was mostly a black box. You didn't really understand how it worked. It just works or it doesn't. It's fun. It's actually interesting and you can do really cool things with it. Okay. So what will you learn in this course? So this is just a basic overview of what the course is all about and what all the lessons are. The course is focused on practical programming with Python to give you the basic tools to automate repetitive tasks. And it's going to give foundational programming knowledge that'll be applicable to any programming language, basically how to think like a programmer. So the focus of this course is really more on how to think like a programmer than how to do a particular set of instructions. I think there's plenty of courses out there or instructions on how to do X in Python or do Y in Java. The purpose of this course is not as much that about this, but it's more like, how do I think like a programmer and like a robot, like a computer in order to solve tasks. And once you know that, my hope is that you can apply that to any problem that you face, even if it's not something we solve in this course to use computers to solve those problems. So understanding how to think like a programmer is the most important part. Once you can do that, you can solve any type of problem that you need to. Some things you'll be able to do by the end of this course. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to automatically parse Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files to save yourself time and work on things that really matter. So if you ever find yourself doing repetitive tasks with these types of files, programming is a very quick way that you can do those much faster. You can start working on things that matter. You can scrape information from the internet with just a few lines of code, and you don't have to copy and paste anymore. You can parse thousands of lines of text to extract patterns and to create forms. You can solve problems that would be impossible to solve in the usual way, like using arithmetic or handwriting, and much more. This course is going to go through a bunch of examples of all of these things so that you can learn how to do this, but it's really more to understand how can I solve this problem? And then once you have that toolkit, you can solve many different types of problems, even those not listed here. Okay, why this course? I think this is probably the most important slide that I'm going to talk about today. So there's 10,000 courses on Udemy alone. So Udemy is a website for training courses. But on YouTube as well, there's many different, really good, high quality courses on how to learn programming. So why should you bother with this course? There's many awesome resources online to use. I think the, I'll give you a couple of points. One is it takes a different approach than most courses, a focus on building a programmer's intuition. So most courses are aimed at people who are trying to become software engineers or trying to become programmers professionally. And when they're aimed at them, it's more about learning the fundamentals, not about how to apply them to real problems, right? which is also very useful. But I think that for some t people, especially people who are not in the field or are not sure that they want to become programmers or software engineers, but they're really just trying to see how can I use this because they have a sense that, hey, I think I could use this in my work or I think I could use this to level up a little bit, but I don't know exactly what I can even use it for. That's 
how I think. And I'm not as interested in just learning things for the sake of learning them, but I want to learn why and how I can actually use them. And that's what got me interested in programming. So this course takes a different approach rather than teaching you the fundamentals and leading up to real examples as like exercises for those fundamentals, flip it on its head. So everything we do is going to be trying to solve a real problem. And then we'll introduce fundamental concepts as ways to solve that problem. And this course is aimed at everyone, as I've mentioned before, not just those who want to programming to be the primary focus of their job. It will teach you practical skills that will allow you to succeed in any role. So I really believe that things I'm teaching here can be used for anyone. It doesn't have to be a programmer. It doesn't have to be a software engineer. You could be working in very different parts of the company and still use these concepts to solve problems with computers. And I give a broader context than most programming courses. So I'm going to be talking about things that usually aren't discussed in programming courses in order to again, inform this intuition on why we'd want to do it. And it's free. So I'm going to be doing this on my spare time. I'm doing this for people who I think are like me. And I've learned many things over time by programming that I feel like I didn't learn in those introductory, introductory programming classes. Part of this is experience. It's really hard to learn something just by watching a video or by imitating it. But I do think that my goal here is to try to fill in some of those gaps and try to save other people time so they can get to where I'm at in a shorter period of time than it took me to develop into learning how to program and learning how to code. So that's why I'm making this course. I'm doing it in my own free time. And because I'm doing this in my own free time and, and with my own resources, uh, I really would appreciate it if you can like this video, if you find it helpful or subscribe to the channel, because I'm going to keep coming out with more and more courses every so often I'm going to produce one of the new lessons. And so that way you can keep up to date and keep learning more as I produce more stuff. And it would really be help great to have some support because as I mentioned, doing this for free, I'm really just trying to help as many people as I can. Okay. That's the, all that I have for this portion of the introductory slides for the video. I hope that you find this all helpful. The next video is going to be a bit more specific about why Python and why, pr what programming is some fundamental concepts. Thanks. Mm -hmm.